Welcome to Cleve Loveland and the Lona Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I'm the Lona Ranger along with Cleve Loveland of Loveland Properties, where we show you how to save money when you're buying real estate or save money when it comes to getting a mortgage for purchasing a home or maybe refinancing a home. So, uh, uh, thanks for tuning into our show. Cleve, how's it been for you this week? It's been really good. We're still in the busy summer season, and right now things are still getting multiple offers. Um, this market's going to continue. There's no bubble. I'll give my anti my, my no bubble warning for the week. Um, you know, prices are rising, supply is very short. The builders' supply is very short. Remember, the builders are who broke our back in 2006 and seven, delivering all these homes to people that couldn't afford them on bad loans. Now we, they can't do that. They can't. We don't build, have bad loans. They can't yeah. build. Well, they can't build the houses fast yeah, enough because they, they can't get the material. So they've got waiting lists. So all those people are going into resale. So Florida's just becoming a more popular, a little more expensive state in the union. And there's not many places you can go less expensive. So people so are just kind of catching on. why don't you think that there, I have my reasons for my opinion on a pullback or a bubble or re- whatever you want to call it. But what, why do you think that we're not heading in that direction? Well, just the, the demand is there and it's, and, and the demand is all people living in their homes in their primary homes. The bubble was probably three quarters, I'd say speculation, people buying too many homes. And this is one person exchanging a bigger house for a smaller house, going up to that big, big dream home. Um, getting out onto an, an acre or two just outside of town, um, buying that big custom home they want. And we are just, you know, at the point where a single family, a nice single family home in Central Florida is going to be cost you, cost you in the mid threes. I think that's going to stay that way. And your luxury home with the pool and 2,900 square feet is going to be in the fours and maybe even higher. So uh, in the, into the fives. So what's going on is the... Um, you know, just a natural, like, we, you know, I'd say real estate's probably almost been a little slow for Florida compared to the rest of the nation. And COVID amplified that. People are like, well, heck, I might as well move now. My taxes are too high. My governor won't let me out of my house. Things like that. So I just think we're, it's going to keep cruising like this. Inventory numbers, I'll have those for you next week. They're not out yet. But inventory seems to have bottomed out. It's been hovering around 3,000 homes for sale, which is more than we're selling or less than we're so that's like a three-week supply we're selling about four thousand homes a month so that's a very good seller's market and in a six-month supply is still a seller's market where prices rise right so and and we were holding before covid you know we we held at about five thousand six thousand homes for sale for about i average was probably about six thousand homes for almost four years right so steady steady market with slow climbing prices so you don't think we're going into any type of a bubble merely because we don't have enough inventory to supply the demand already. It, yes, because, and the one thing about this this market we're in now, like in the bubble, I would have people pay forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 over list on but a three. They're doing that right now. No, well, not on a $300,000 home though. Okay. And so what I'm seeing, my average sales price is about 103% of list price. So okay. after everything settles, so not 110% of list price, not 115% of list price. And I know that's happening in some markets. And it might happen on a, on a hot, hot custom home in Winter Park or in Windermere or that one lakefront home that just popped up at a great, great price. Um, but that's what it's all about when I talk to my customers. That's what it's about, setting up a house for sale, having it prepped right, staged right, having it, all the work done to it. And then pricing it right, is it, pricing is an art. And you can't go, okay, neighbor's selling for six fifty. I'm going to go 750. Doesn't work that way. You need to go 660 and get a bunch of offers and then pick the most reasonable guy, list your house at 660, and then you might sell for 699. Well, one of the dilemmas that sellers are having right now is they'll get the offer over ask price, but then it doesn't appraise. And can you, and what do you do to ensure that that buyer will pay the difference? Does that have to be in the contract, Cleve? Not always in the contract. Kind of depends on how. Sometimes a motivated buyer or a good buyer's agent will put that in there saying, hey, we'll pay you $10,000 or we'll pay you X over appraisal if it doesn't appraise. Right. Because that buyer's made the decision based on what because their family needs. you can't make it an infinite number. No, you can't. And, and, or you could say, I'll pay you $10,000 over appraised value, provided it appraises for at least the X. original yeah. ask price. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you have questions for Cleve, you can reach him at 407-352-8118. That's 
888-888-8118. Or you can reach me, the loan arranger, which I highly advise you get fully pre-approved and go through my fast track loan program, which ensures a fast closing. And you can reach me and my team at 407-250-9144. That's 407 407- Two five zero nine one four four, or webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. Here's my thoughts on that whole pullback and recession. I think you can't have a recession. You can't have a, 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 a real estate pullback when you don't have enough inventory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't have one when there's also a shortage of rental properties and yep. rents are going up. Yep. So your rents are going up and your housing is going up and you have inflation, how are houses going to come down in price when inflation is so high? I don't think, and what I see is, and there's so much, buyers have a lot of information in their palm of their hand right now. And they know the last four homes that sold and they're one, the two they should have made offers on or they didn't make their offers big enough, but they're still not willing to go, like I said, way over list price. But it's going to be, I think this is just a steady, steady burn on the market. It's not an out of control place. Well, blaze. I think that our, our massive... Uh, appreciation will will settle down. Yes, but but the market when you hear the news, they're like, oh my gosh, uh, home sales were down by seventeen percent. Well, of course they were. That's there's because they were sale. up by one hundred and fifty percent. Yeah, and right? there's nothing to sell. Yeah, so inventory tight. So all those numbers roll through. But this is what's important, Bruce. You interpret. You know, you can talk about interest rates, but those interest rates will vary depending on who you're talking to. You know, right. on your mortgage. And I interpret that for people because sometimes their dreams are, I need to get this much money because this is where I want to go. I'm going into this market. I know my house is going to cost me this much or I want to downsize to this much. So I can tell them, I help a lot of people do real estate planning. And this is something that I do where I might talk to somebody a year or two or three. I just talked to a gentleman today I've been talking to for almost four years. He got his company sold and he's ready to downsize and head off to the hills and, and just sit and sit on his front porch. And I'd, I've been helping him for a couple of years. I told him several years ago he knew he was going to need new flooring and new carpets. I gave him all the color choices and gave him said, this is what's hot, this is what you want to do, and we upgraded some things nicely. He was going to go back to his old – he'd been in the house for 40 years. He was about ready to go back to, like, avocado green and harvest gold. And I said, no, 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 look, look at these pictures here. Use these colors. And I, I, I gave him the pictures for him. So I help people with that all the time because real estate planning is something that – I look at, I'm not just trying to get your listing and get sold because I need a paycheck. I want to help you. So you say Loveland Properties did a great job and you're going to send me all your friends and family. Right. So now, Bruce, tell me about something here. I, I just heard rates dropped again. Well, rates did drop for early in the week. Um, uh, on Wednesday, we had another alert to lock. So, you know, I've been pushing people, hey, rates are down. We got, we, rates have dropped, they've dropped, they've dropped. Mm-hmm. But what's happening is, um, and we did, we had a good week. First half of the week, good week. Wednesday, not as good of a day. Okay. Okay. So, and here's the thing. I watch the market all day long. I have, I have multiple screens on my desk yep. that give me indicators on what's happening with the market. I have tech systems that give me information on the market. But here's, uh, and, and I don't like to get too esoteric or too technical, but for those that want to understand what is driving rates down, We had a lot of economic news come out. And all week we've had the Fed meeting about different things. The PPE came out, uh, unemployment came out, uh, the uh, consumer uh, goods came out. All these indicators come out, which can positively or negatively affect the market. But you know interest rates are tied to the bond market, right? So what's happening is we are bouncing off a 200-day moving average. And we cannot pierce the ceiling of that 200-day moving average. If we pierce the ceiling of that 200-day moving average on the bond market, we could see an improvement in interest rates. But what happens, Cleve, is we keep going up to it, and we hit it, and we bounce right back down again. So this week, we got right up to the 200-day moving average on the bond market, and it really helped interest rates. They were down a lot. If you got a second chance early in the week, and I was pushing it last week on this show, I was pushing it this week on the show, you got a huge opportunity. If you are not reacting now, you likely will miss out on it. Now, if you're closing in the next 45 days, you need to lock now. Yeah. Okay? If you're six months out, we could potentially, if we pierce that ceiling of resistance, 
see another improvement in interest rates. Yeah. If we don't, they're going to keep staying where they are and bouncing back mm-hmm. and forth. And it's extremely volatile and, quite, and it can make you a little nervous. Question. I've seen some articles out there. A lot of people do have equity in their homes. They don't want to go anywhere. They want to spend a little money on the house. If I get a cash out refi, does that cost me a little bit more in rate? Is it a Most lot certain, more or a mo- little more? It, it just a little bit more. Okay. The cash out refinances are always priced differently than a rate and term refinance. In other words, if you just want to refinance your balance and include new closing costs, your rate will be slightly lower than if you're pulling money out. The risk level, according to Fannie Mae HUD and Ginny Mae, is much higher when people are pulling money out than it is when they're just refinancing their balance. So yes, there is a premium for Mm -hmm. a cash out refinance, but it makes sense. Like I took a client this week, refinanced his home, 30 year mortgage, paid off debt, saving him $2,100 a month. Yeah, that's, that's what you should do. Yeah. Now, if he applied the $2,100 that he was paying with what he's paying currently, Yep. okay, if he applied that to the new mortgage. 15-year note, 10-year note? Almost eight and a half years. Awesome. So now he'd have no debt and no mortgage. So what we're saying here, read between the lines, don't pull 50 grand out and go to Fiji. Or pay off some debt. Well, or <laughs> just go back to Walmart and buy more George Foreman grills and 88 yeah, yeah, yeah. screen so, TVs. But, yeah. you know, you you have to, if you want to really have the things that are going to um, bring you a quality and lifestyle that you want, you can't do it when you're overloaded with debt. You'll never do that. Yeah. You and I say there's no such thing as a rich renter. Yep. Well, you're not going to get rich rich by being re- a refiaholic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, or a refiaholic, and I see that. Oh my God! I yeah. get. And listen, I love doing your refis for you. Okay. But when I have to refinance you every three years because you're just <laughs> using your home equity to pay for all your garbage, yep. Yep. it's you're not going to get ahead. And sooner or later, you'll pay the piper on that. All right. You have any questions for Bruce? Uh, Bruce, what's the number to call you? 407-250-9144. 407-250-9144. Or webringyouhome.com. And Cleve Loveland. ClevelovLand.com. 407-352-8118. Remember, you look up and down your street, chances are one of those rooftops. I've helped sell it, buy it, or manage it as an investment property. Um, you can always call us, and we will help you anytime, anywhere within the sound of our voice. Hottest markets in in the country right now, Bruce. Got a couple of notes here about you know we you know our, our market's not overheated. Phoenix, San Diego, Seattle, all up over twenty percent over one year over year on the average on the average home. Um, Boston and Dallas, sixteen percent and fifteen percent. Um, Tampa was up fifteen percent. Tampa so, uh, is rock solid, and yeah. now that we have. <clears throat> The Bucks, the Lightning, yeah. and the Rays. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, Good sports town. I don't know what's going on in Orlando with that. Tampa's um, red hot. Need to talk to, talk to the ma- magic management about that. Um, <clears throat> uh, but anyway, the, you know, this market, it is hot and will stay hot. Central Florida, we've got a little bit of an advantage. We're less expensive than these other markets. Like, we're less expensive than Tampa. We're less expensive than South Florida by a long shot. So any questions, you can give us a call at 407-352-8118. After the break, I'm going to tell you about some listings I have coming. These are I've got three great starter homes and a couple custom ones. You need to hear these next. Yeah, well, we're going to hear all about those great opportunities. And when we get back, I want to talk a little bit more about what's going on in the real estate market nationwide. So stay tuned. Stay to this station. Uh, don't go anywhere. We got some hot news on the press, and I'm going to give you a lot of reasons why you should get into the market now. It's not a good time to wait. Just call me at 407-250-9144. That's 407 407- Two five zero nine one four four, or webringyouhome.com, or you can go to Cleve's website that he's have gotten uh, regained it from the Russians, and you can go to clevelovland.com and uh, and check out Cleve or call him at four zero seven three five two eight one one eight. We'll be back in five minutes with more of Cleve Loveland and the Lone Ranger Radio Show.
Welcome back to Cleve Loveland and the Lone Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I am the Lone Ranger along with Cleve Loveland, Loveland Properties. Cleve, I understand you got some pretty amazing listings you want to I share. I do. With us. I've got a couple coming, Bruce, and I got three starter homes in different sections of town. I got one on the east side by Waterford Lakes for three hundred eight thousand. Three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, fifteen hundred square feet. Excellent condition for three hundred eight. Getting a brand new roof. I got one in Winter Springs for two ninety nine nine. 1,450 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. Been an awesome investment property or an awesome starter home for somebody. That's in the Highlands. I've got one in Dr. Phillips. It's a nice Phillips. community, too. Yeah, and I've got one in Dr. Phillips. This is the best price home in Dr. Phillips. Great schools, great location, million dollar neighbors on the Butler chain, two million dollar neighbors, and three million dollar neighbors. 350000 for that one. And then I've got a custom home. Now, it's not on the Butler chain, though. No, no. It's got okay. the, the I just wanted to the, be sure because rich, I'm paying cash yeah, for no, that one today. No, that wouldn't even is. buy you a boathouse on the Butler chain. <laughs> and then I've got a um, one in Sable Point for 420000 This is a 4 2. And this is what's wild, Bruce. This is how I, I talk about how I've sold every rooftop in, on every street in town. I've sold a house. I walked into this guy's garage. My mom's sign from 1982 was in the garage. No, it was not. Yeah, I swear to Did God. Did you get he, it? Did you ask? Him I've got for it? it. I've got it. And and, and this we need he, to put that on the. He website. bought this home new from the builder. My mom was a list company was a listing agent back in 1980 or 83, right around oh there. And, and I was still in high school. My mom had just gotten into real estate. So small world in the world of real estate, Loveland Properties knows it. If you've got any questions. You want me to come out and take a look at your house to get you ready to sell? Call me, 407-352-8118. Believe it or not, in this market, Bruce, talk, it's important to talk to me. In this market, even this is the hottest market in 15 years, believe it or not, there's still about 10% of the market every month that doesn't sell and gives up. I rescue a couple orphans every month, and they wonder what's going on. I need to get to my home. It's being finished. i got to get to Tennessee. I, got, I already bought another house. What do I got to do? And they're not getting the right advice. They're not getting the right marketing. They're not getting the right staging. Um, Loveland Properties can fix that for you at 407-352-8118. Yeah, or uh, if you are considering getting into this market or refinancing, interest rates dropped a little bit this week uh, from the week before. I had a couple of rocky days, some good days, some not so good days in the on the bond market. But uh, overall, interest rates are down. If you haven't refinanced yet, you definitely need to pick up the phone and give me a call at 407-250-9144. That's 407-250-9144. If you are out looking at property right now and you're finding that the market is just so doggone competitive and you keep missing out on opportunities, it's because you don't have the right advocates to help you get the deal. You don't have to be the high is priced, you have to make the seller comfortable that you are the right choice. How do you do that? You appear that you are as close to a cash buyer as you can possibly be. Now, you can't present yourself as a cash buyer if you're not a cash buyer. But what can you do, Cleve? Fast track. You can do fast track. Fast track is the best pre-approval because you're not pre-approved. You're fully approved for your loan, which means that I will call the listing agent and guarantee them that I will pay the seller $500 a day or up to $500 a day for every day I miss the closing. Do you think I'm going to miss the closing, Cleve? Nope. I'm not going to miss the closing. Why won't I miss the closing? Because you got everything done. Because you, you the do loan's it. already fully approved. It is. But does that make the seller feel like, hey, this is the one I want? Yes. That's going to make the seller feel Top like the this is the Along one Along with they the want. honor call. Along with the honor call. Well, that's because my clients are fully approved. They get a great mortgage from me. They get excellent interest rates. I mean, I'm a national lender. We're in all 50 states. We service our own loans for the most part. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call me at 407 250 nine one four four or go to we bring you home.com you want to reach cleave call them at 407-352-8118 Bruce, i gotta run i'm gonna let you i got 10 offers sitting in my car i gotta run and get present those to the seller um taking lots of listings thanks for tuning into the loveland report i will talk to you next week all right we'll uh, be back in five minutes with more of cleve loveland and the loner ranger radio show i'm going to go over some statistics and how you can get into this market as a first-time home buyer
Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, and yes, I am the Lone Ranger. Boy, I tell you what, I have so much fun doing this radio show, but I have more fun helping you when it comes to saving money on a refinance transaction or saving money when it comes to buying a home. You know, there's so many challenges out there for folks that want to buy a home right now. And I'm going to tell you something. I can show you the tricks of the trade to be able to help you position yourself so you can become the winning offer. Because here's the deal, guys. Here is the reality of it. If you go to buy a resale home right now, you are going to be up against several other offers of other folks that want to buy the same property. Why? Because there's not enough properties. That's why. And that's going to continue to drive the prices up. So how do you win in a competitive market like that? Do you just have to outbid everybody? Well, how are you going to do that? I mean, if you're going to take a property that's on the market for $350 and you end up paying $400 for it, are you going to be able to come up with the difference? Because you can't finance more than the value of the home. So if you bought a home for $350, let's just say, let's just say you bought a home for 350,000 bucks and you had enough money to put 10% down. That's 35 grand, but you ended up buying the home for 400 and it only appraised for 350. Well, then you've got to put down the, um, the, at least the 5% of the 350, which it appraised for plus the difference. So, or 10% of 350, but if you qualify for only 5%, you could do that. So that would be $85,000 down payment on a $400,000 house because it only appraised for 350. Do you have the money to do that? Is that really possible for you to do? For many of you, it is because I'm seeing it every day. I'm seeing more and more of you say, I'm prepared to pay the difference. But here's how you do this. Let's just say you were capable of putting down 20% on the 350. So if you were putting down 20% on 350, then that's $70,000, right? We all on the same page on this, that's 70 grand. Well, if the house didn't appraise for, uh, excuse me, so 350, and then then you're willing to buy the home for 400. So the seller agreed to sell you the home for 400. But again, it only came in for what the original sales price was for 350. Okay, now stay with me, because this gets a little complicated, but I want you to hang in there. So you were going to put 20% down if the house was able to sell for 350, but you ended up buying it for 400. So now you had 70 grand to put down, can you still buy the home? Well, here's how you do that. So now you go 350 times 5%. So you put 5% down. So now you're into it for 17.5. And then you got to pay the difference. So you paid $50,000 over. So there's your 65,000. You're into the deal for the same amount of money and you can still get the house that you want. Now you weren't able to do that. If you were squeezing together 5% to put down, you couldn't make up the difference. But that's how you put a deal together when you're paying over ask price or over appraised value for any particular property. You want help on structuring that transaction? You just pick up the phone and you call the loan arranger at 407-352, excuse me, that's Cleve's number, 407-250-9144, 407-3, I keep giving out Cleve's number, 407 250 nine one four four but let's go ahead and give cleve's number out while we're at it 407-352-8118 i got a lot of numbers in my head and you know what that gets kind of crazy and complicated when we're trying to do those those word problems over the radio but here's what you have you got the loan arranger right here ready ready to work them out and explain them to you because i don't know about you but i'm a very visual person so i like to see things so that might have been difficult to follow on the air but think about this do you want somebody that understands that the way i do when it comes to helping you with your financing if that's what you want and that's what you need and you want that advice then you call the person that's best at it and that would be the loan arranger. You call me at 
250-9144 or visit my website at webringyouhome.com. Here's the beauty of working with me. You get 32 years experience. You get one of the top uh, loan officers, not only na- uh, uh, locally, but nationally. You have somebody that actually returns phone calls. You have the best amazing mortgage staff in the market, period, bar none. I don't know any other team that's got a better team. We're committed to returning phone calls. We're committed to giving you great service. You'll find that my team asks you after every phone call to evaluate the service level that we're we're giving. We want to know that. So we're always improving our game. Why do we know that that's important? Because that's what I would want if I was getting a mortgage today. Now, if I ask you right now, what's the most important thing you get in a mortgage company? You're going to tell me rate, rate, rate. That's what you're going to tell me. And all of you go for rate, rate, rate. Do you know that 65% of mortgages fail and the clients are dissatisfied with the mortgage company? 65%. That's horrendous. You know why? Because clients get lured into fancy commercials promising the world and not delivering. Here's the reality of mortgage rates, guys. I'm just going to tell you the secret. Here's the secret. We all have the same rates. You heard me. Oh, no, no. I called this company and they beat you in a rate. Yeah, but you won't get it at the end of the day. Or there'll be a surprise. Or you're buying up the rate or buying down the rate with points. Well, anybody can do that. It's just like no closing cost refinances. How do they do that? Are they giving you money? Are they giving you $70 million that they've paid for closing costs? No, they're not. They're using your money to pay for it and calling it their money. That's not how it works, guys. When when I increase your interest rate, I get a commission or a yield back. and And I can use that to cover closing costs for you. Is that a good idea? Well, if you have no money or very little money, maybe it is the right thing to do. But if you have your own money, would you be better off to pay a higher rate and have me pay your closing costs or pay a lower rate over the life of the loan and you pay your own closing costs? Well, not not everybody fits into the same category. Everyone's different. What's your situation? What's most important to you? What are some of the questions might be asked to determine what you should do? Like, how long are you going to stay in the house? So I, you know, I had a client the other day. He says, well, I want the rate to be a little lower. And he was getting a little bit lower rate, but it was costing almost a half a point to do it. And I asked him, I said, how long are you going to stay in this house? He goes, I don't know, maybe three or four years. I said, then don't do that. Don't pay the extra just because it makes you feel better that you got a little better rate. You're making an emotional decision rather than a logical decision. Do you have somebody that cares enough about you and is going to give you the trusted advice to guide you down that path in the right direction? Or do you have somebody that's a slick talk and salesperson that just wants to make another commission? Well, if you want me, you're going to get a trusted advisor. That's my guarantee. That's my promise. That's the way I've trained my team. My team does not do anything to sell you a product that is not 100% in your best interest, period. And that's why I convince a lot of you, or I suggest to many of you that call me for refinancing, not to refinance. 50% of you shouldn't refinance that I get calls for. But I got to convince you as to why. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd just refinance everybody that calls me. If that was, if it was just to gain for me, but it's not, it's for you and you need the right advice and you need somebody that you can count on and you need somebody you can trust. You need somebody that's local. Quit dealing with these national companies that you're working at some guy that's on a zoom call working out of his garage. Really? Don't you want somebody that you can have a relationship with that cares about you and your family and be there and guide you through the transaction? You call the loan arranger. You can meet with me in person. I'm in the same location for over 20 years. Right here on Fairbanks in Winter Park. You can set an appointment to meet with me. That's all you got to do. We get you on the phone. We pre-approve you. You, you want to bring in your documents? I mean, some of you folks are like, you know what? I just want to bring in docs and meet the loan arranger. And I want to make sure that I've got somebody that's committed to making sure they take care of you. That's me. Come in and meet me. I'll do that. My team will cater to you. Come on in. We look forward to having you. Please don't just show up at my door, though. 
I mean, I get a lot of you guys just drop by and go, hey, I'm here to see the Lone Ranger. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm flattered by it. I, I, I want to meet with you. But I also do have a business to run here. So I, I have a pretty tight schedule. And my schedule is tight because I'm meeting with you guys on appointments. So call my office, set an appointment. 407-250-9144, 407-250-9144, or visit my website at webringyouhome.com. So here's a couple of really cool statistics. I just got these out hot off the press. So here, according to CoreLogic, they are a company that uh, they do all kinds of things. They evaluate um, different trends in real estate. They also, uh, we use them for services to identify uh, property ownership. Like if you called me and said, yeah, I own my home. Do you own any other properties? And you said, no, I don't own any of properties. I pull up CoreLogic and go, no, you own a property in Boston. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one, Bruce. Yeah. Well, that you can't trick the mortgage lender anymore. There's too many things that we not only do, but have to do to go through the system. There's like three type, I'll call them background checks for lack of a better word, but they're like background checks that we do for every closing. And lenders have to do it in order to comply. That's why mortgages cost more and have more paperwork today than they ever did before. It's a litigious society that we're in. And now we're required to do all these things just to have a saleable loan to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, HUD, Ginny Mae. You have to do it. So these all these different systems. So you never, by the way, you never want to mislead a mortgage lender. Okay. Mortgages are federal instruments and you don't want to do federal things to mislead a lender. And you know what the number one mortgage fraud is in the country? Occupancy. People saying that they're going to buy as a primary or a secondary residence, and it's really investment. Number one fraud. And there's, it's, it's one of the number one reasons. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is the number one reason for foreclosures on performing loans. What does that mean? The client's making their payments on time, but they committed fraud when they applied for the loan and the lender has to foreclose. It's not good. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Just be honest. I'll figure out a way to make your loan happen. All right, let's talk about some cool stuff that are happening in the market. So reading this core logic. CoreLogic reports that home prices nationwide, including distressed sales, rose 17.2% in June of 2021 compared with June of 2020. That's up month over month by 2.3% in June of 2021 compared with May of 2021. Now, let's just put that in perspective. They're saying that houses are, have risen just in a month okay, by 2.3%. So 2.3 times 12 is 27.6%. Now, that's just, that's just a month, 2.3%. It's rose 17.2%. But if we stayed on this trend, we're at 26%. Now, you're asking me, should I wait to buy a home? What do you think? Sure, as long as you want to pay 17% more later on, then wait. So why would you wait? Houses are not going to get any cheaper. They're not going to go down in price. I don't care about foreclosures coming about. It's not going to, there's not enough, there's not enough properties to satisfy the market. The builders can't build fast enough. Buy now. Listen, today's price is the new norm. Yesterday's price is gone, man. It's in the rear view mirror. It's gone. It's the new norm. Just get used to it because it's going to be a new norm next month and the month after that and next year after that. And that norm's going to be higher. It's your opportunity to get rich. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. They wait. They're polarized. They can't move. Buy now. You got great rates and houses are going up in price. That's what you want. I mean, basic economics. Buy low, sell high. You're going to buy low and sell high. Is it higher today than it was last year? Yeah, it's also higher than it was in 1952. But you missed that boat too. Let's buy now. 407-250-9144. That's the Lone Arranger at 407-250-9144. Or webringyouhome.com. Be back in five minutes with more of reasons to jump into the market today, especially if you're a teacher, law enforcement, or first responder. Uh-huh. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Welcome back to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, and yes, I am the Loner Ranger here to help you when it comes to purchasing a home and saving money on a mortgage. It's what I do. It's what I've been doing for 32 years. Here to help you save money on refinancing. You know, I'm getting a lot of calls from people that are just, they're like, you know, have I missed the boat on refinancing? Yeah, you missed the lowest boat, but you just got it back for a temporary period of time. Had a really good week in the market. Wednesday, not so good. We lost some basis points on the bond market. So just really quickly, here's what's keeping rates low, but not allowing them to go lower. Rates are based on the bond market, not prime rate. Prime rate's going up. The Fed already told you they're going up. That's home equities, credit cards, car loans. They're going to go up. But mortgages are based on the bond market, and they've stayed low. They, they were up two weeks ago a little bit. Now they're back down a little bit. Not a lot. We're not talking about huge changes. But what's happening is we keep bumping up against the 200-day moving average, and we can't seem to pierce that. If we could pierce it, we'd probably see another break in interest rates, just a little bit lower. But we can't seem to. We hit it, and then we bounce back. So like Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, really good. Wednesday, we hit it, bounced right off of it again. And it keeps doing that. It can't, what's called piercing the ceiling of resistance. Now, if you know anything about stocks, you ever trade stocks or options or Forex or, you know, I watch the market for you every day and for me. It's my business. I got to know what's going on in the mortgage industry. I got to know what trends are. Got to know what mortgages are doing. So when I tell you on the air, buy now, refinance now, you pull money out, consolidate now, lock your mortgage rate in now. It's because now's the time to do it because I'm watching the market. It's not a sales pitch. You might not even have your mortgage with me, but I'm giving you the advice as to when to lock it in. I'm giving you the advice as to when not to lock it in. And right now, it's not what we call a floating bias. However, I'm not in an emergency lock. If you're closing in the next 30 days, maybe 45, lock it in. If you're closing in six months, I don't think that you have a lot to worry about. Now, who's closing in six months? You're building a new home. That's when you're closing in six months. But if let's just say you said, Bruce, you pulled my credit. I got a 605 credit score. The rate's not as good as I'd like to get. What do I need to do to fix my, my, my credit so I can get a better rate? Okay, well, it's going to take six months, but I need you to do this, this, and this. Now, does that mean you wait till the fifth month to do it? No, you do it today because it's going to take me six months to get it. You're still probably going to be okay. But do we know that? We don't know that. I mean, we're, we're experiencing some crazy stuff going on in the industry right now. But my job is to keep you informed. My job is to be a trusted advisor for you. So I want you to stop your car. Stop what you're doing. Tinkering in the yard. You're on your way to church. You're coming back from church. You're on the way to the synagogue. I don't know where you're on your way to, but pull the car over and save my number. 407-250-9144. 407-250-9144. And then save my website in your phone, webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. That's what I do. I bring you home. We're going to get this thing right. We're going to make sure we save you money. We're going to establish a lifelong relationship, you and I, because I'm going to be there from now until the time I'm done with this, okay, to help you, your children, your grandchildren as a trusted advisor. I mean, I just got off the phone with a guy that, man, he's just, all he's doing is writing off all kinds of things on his taxes and he's keeping himself. If I, if I could get the income out of this guy, I could save him a ton of money, but he's writing off so much that he's keeping himself from saving money. Don't do that. I'll help you with that. You call the loan arranger at 407-250-9144. That's 407-250-9144 or we bring you home.com. I'm always there for you. See you next week. Have a great Sunday. Thank you for listening.